Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, do what God has ordained. Who had saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. 2 Timothy 1 verse 9. If you're only talented, you may feel comfortable taking your talents into a secular arena. Talent, like justice, is blind. It will seek all opportunities the same. But when you're cognizant of divine purpose, there are some things you would not do because it would defeat the purpose of God in your life. For instance, if it is your purpose to bless the body of Christ in singing or ministry, Though you may be talented enough to aspire to some secular platform of excellence, if you're cognizant of your purpose, you will do what you're called to do. Being called according to the purpose enables you to focus on the development of your talent as it relates to your purpose. Whenever we bring our efforts into alignment with purpose, we automatically are blessed. 2 Timothy 2, 4-5 says, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for mastery, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. In order to strive lawfully, our efforts must be tailored after the pattern of divine purpose. Everyone is already blessed. We often spend hours in prayer trying to convince God he should bless what we are trying to accomplish. What we will need to do is spend hours in prayer for God to reveal His purpose. When we do what God has ordained to be done, we are blessed because God's plan is already blessed. Perhaps you have known times of frustration. Most of us at one point or another have found ourselves wrestling to birth an idea that was conceived in the womb of a human mind as opposed to the divine. For myself, I've learned that God will not be manipulated. If he said it, then that settles it. No amount of praying through parched lips and tear-stained eyes will call God to avert what he knows is best for you. The quote of the day, whenever we bring our efforts into alignment with his purpose, we automatically are blessed. As you go today, go knowing that you are called, and not only called, but within you God has placed a purpose. Now the question is, what is your purpose? Find it and do it. And if you're already doing it, don't stop. God bless you. In Jesus' name.